Hello and welcome back. The following problem states arrange ethyl methyl ether, 2 methyl propane, and acetone in order of increasing boiling points. Their structures are as follows with red indicating oxygen, white is hydrogen, and blue is carbon. Now, the very first thing that you really want to do in order to determine which of the following three compounds has the highest boiling point and then the lowest is to look at the polarity and the masses of each of these compounds. Compounds with a higher molar mass are going to have a higher melting point along with uh, if it is polar or not. The following compounds all have similar molecular weights, all ranging between 58 to 60 grams per mole. So molar mass is not going to be the indicator that we use to determine which of these have the highest boiling points. The next thing that we're going to look at is the polarity in each of these compounds to determine the strength of the dipole-dipole interactions. In order to do so, we're going to look at 2-methylpropane. 2-methylpropane only contains carbon and hydrogen bonds, where the carbon and hydrogen bonds are not polar bonds. Um, and thus, the dipole moment is very small, which is going to lead to having a very low boiling point. So, low boiling point. Now, if we look at uh, ethyl methyl ether, which in ethyl methyl ether, this contains two polar carbon bonds. So, right here and right here. And these are polar uh, carbon bonds because of the oxygen atom. And due to this oxygen atom, we're going to have an in a larger dipole moment than that of 2-methylpropane, thus increasing this dipole-dipole, um, this dipole moment in this compound. And this should thus have a higher melting uh, boiling point than that of 2-methylpropane. Lastly, we have acetone. In acetone, we have a carbon double uh, bonded oxygen, which is right here. So we have a double bond. And this, is bond, this carbon is double bonded to oxygen, which results in an even larger dipole moment and has the highest boiling point of the three. Now, the very, it's very important to understand when doing this type of problem and to determine which of the following has the highest boiling point. You have to take into consideration molar mass and polarity. 